birth control continues to be the surprise issue of this election year. Today, President Obama jumped in, taking advantage of some incendiary remarks by a radio talk show host. Liberals and conservatives are fanning a controversy over something that many Americans see as a fact of life. Nancy Cordes is in our Washington bureau. Nancy? What did the president say to you? Well, he expressed his support for me. 30-year-old Sandra Fluke got a call from the White House today saying a senior official wanted to speak to her. That senior official turned out to be the president. He also just wanted to express concern and make sure that I was okay. He mentioned that as a parent of two daughters, he hoped that I would tell my parents that they should be proud of me. The Georgetown University law student entered the national spotlight two weeks ago when Republican leaders refused to accept her as a witness at a hearing about the Obama administration's new policy on insurance coverage of contraception. That led to this awkward sight, five men testifying on what Democrats say is a women's issue. What I want to know is where are the women? So Democrats well, held their own informal hearing in protest last week with Fluke as their lone witness. These denials of contraceptive coverage impact real people. Radio host Rush Limbaugh was not the first provocateur to disparage Fluke, just the most explicit. It makes her a slut, right? It makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. Had anyone ever said anything like that about you before? Well, certainly not on national airwaves. Um, you know, I think that a lot of women, unfortunately, have, have heard those types of words, and historically they've always been used to try to silence women. So why did the president feel the need to get involved? Well, Scott, the White House sees this as a chance to portray Republicans as out of touch with those all-important independent women voters. Nancy, thank you.